Meet William Townsend. Depicting how I've been so strong now, I mean, it's just, I can't like imagine like what it was like that back then. The 15 year old was born with EEC or ectrodactyl ectrodural dysplasia clefting syndrome. On top of missing two fingers at birth, his feet were amputated as an infant. An arduous challenge for his mother, Beth. Having family and friends there to help support us emotionally, financially, um, I mean, it's a lot to prepare yourself for your, you know, his first surgery, I think he was three months old. William has had multiple operations, including open heart surgery before the age of one. For him, he just wants to be a normal kid. And that starts right here in the pool. Now William is a proud member of the YMCA's HYF swim team. It was a big process. I mean, I really, I really just, I had a good amount of support from people and friends and family. Five years old when you first started swimming lessons. What was that process like for you? Were you scared to get in that water? More the fear was coming from meeting new people. Uh, it wasn't so much that, it was more of like them like mocking me. As William became faster and faster over the years, he surpassed many of those swimmers. I just treat him like any of the other kids. I expect him to swim. I don't expect him to get out. And right now he's raising himself to that, ex to those expectations. He's doing a fantastic job. Um, and I don't think his disability he is allowing that to hold him back. The majority of Williams meets are against swimmers who are not physically disabled. It's a tough competition, you know, for him swimming against able-bodied people. That, um, but he holds his own. You know, he works very, very hard every day, and you can see it when he goes to the meets. It wasn't until recently that William began competing in para meets like the Can-Am Games in Quebec, Canada. There he placed first in his class for the 200 freestyle. As far as I've lived and known, I just, I just swim. I don't see the difference in any way I do anything. As for the future, he has big goals. I really hope that I get to the point where I actually get to compete in the Paralympics. With his drive and determination, we can't wait to see him there. Crystal Rich, WBOC Sports.